Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is Kamala Harris's stance on gun control? Kamala Harris, the Democratic presidential nominee, has a complex and multifaceted stance on gun control. Here are some key points that outline her position. Harris is a gun owner herself, having revealed during the 2024 presidential debate that she owns a handgun for personal safety, a decision rooted in her background as a career prosecutor. Despite being a gun owner, Harris advocates for stricter gun laws. She supports universal background checks, which aim to ensure that all firearm sales, including those at gun shows and online, are subject to background checks. Harris also backs null red flag laws, null which allow courts to temporarily take away guns from individuals deemed a danger to themselves or others. These laws are designed to prevent potential tragedies by intervening before a crisis occurs. She has called for a ban on assault-style weapons, citing the need to remove these firearms from public circulation. Although she previously supported a mandatory buyback program for such weapons, her campaign has clarified that she no longer advocates for this specific measure. Harris has been involved in several legislative efforts to enhance gun safety. She was a key supporter of the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which was signed into law by President Biden in 2022. This legislation expanded background checks for firearm purchasers under the age of 21, introduced new penalties for illegal gun trafficking, and allocated funds for violence prevention and intervention programs. As part of the Biden administration, Harris has overseen the White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention, which focuses on implementing and promoting gun safety policies. She has also supported executive actions to crack down on rogue gun dealers and promote secure storage practices. Harris emphasizes that her support for the Second Amendment does not preclude the need for reasonable gun safety laws. She argues that it is a false choice to suggest that one must either favor the Second Amendment or support confiscating all guns. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.